Math story 12 hour and 24 hour clock Uncle Bad's time bombs Children a day consists of morning evening and night but measuring time in just these three aspects will not give us specific results so we measure time in terms of hours minutes and seconds can you tell me how many hours a day has a day has 24 hours correct we indicate these 24 hours in two parts while reading time the first part begins from 12 midnight to 12 morning and we use am anti-meridium to indicate this the second part begins from 12 afternoon to 12 at night we use pm post meridian to indicate this oh so if it is 11 o'clock in the morning i will say 11 am if it is 11 o'clock at night i will say 11 pm am i right uncle matt absolutely because this clock uses 12 hours format to indicate time we call it a 12 hour clock uncle bad is planning something big this time I heard that his army is placing many clocks around Samper town. Everybody is tense. Why many clocks in the town? What if there is a hidden time bomb in them? Oh yes, this could be a possibility as the easiest way to destroy Samper town is through time bombs. Everybody is thinking and trying to predict the new attack strategy. Suddenly, Trehu realizes something. Oh no! The bombs will explode one after the other in this attack. That will destroy the entire town. We have to do something. Everybody panics. Uncle Matt, can your gadgets help here? After thinking for a while, Uncle Matt rushes to get something from his secret locker. What is he getting? This is Mr. Bomb Detector. It detects the bombs and displays their time of the explosion. Only it can save us today. Together, they decide to search for the bombs first using the gadget and then deactivate them. It is time for some action now. Sarah is holding Mr. Bomb Detector and scanning through various areas. Suddenly, Mr. Bomb Detector starts producing a loud sound. Yes, their guess was right. This indicates the presence of a bomb here. They quickly dig and take the time bomb out. The timer on the bomb shows 12.01 pm, whereas the timer on Mr. Bomb Detector shows 12.20 pm. That means we have 19 minutes to deactivate this bomb before it explodes. Trio decides to deactivate it. Hurrah! The first bomb is deactivated. They continue searching for more bombs. Mr. Bomb Detector starts producing loud sounds again. It looks like they have found the second bomb. It was hidden behind a bush this time. But something strange happens as they take the bomb out. The timer on the bomb shows 14.00 and Mr. Bomb Detector shows 2.20 pm. What? Two different times? We do not use numbers greater than 12 in the clock. Something is fishy here. Uncle Bad is so smart. To confuse us, he has used 24-hour clock in the time bombs. What? Is 24-hour clock a new type of clock? How can one use it? 24-hour clock denotes the day in 24 hours. It does not use AM or PM to differentiate between day and night. Instead, it uses different numbering. To indicate the morning time, it uses numbers from 0 to 12. To indicate afternoon to night, it uses numbers from 13 to 24. So, if it is 1 p.m. in 12-hour clock, it will be 1300 hours in 24-hour clock. Similarly, 2 p.m. is 1400 hours, 3 p.m. is 1500 hours and so on. So that means 1400 hours on the bomb means 2 p.m. Before they run out of time, Trejo quickly cuts the red wire again and the timer stops. 
the bomb is deactivated everybody is slightly relieved mr bomb detector detects again the timer on the bomb shows 1700 hours and mr bomb detector shows 510 pm 1700 hours means 5 pm so we have only 10 minutes to deactivate says sirha to herself everybody panics Trio hurries to deactivate the bomb as soon as possible. He cuts the wire and the timer stops. Hurrah! The bomb is deactivated. Everybody is relieved. Mr. Bomb Detector detects again, but not the usual way. Everybody is shocked. Why? This time the bomb is with a trio boss. Ha <laughs> ha. Come and take it from me, otherwise I will just throw it. The timer on the bomb displays 1900 hours, and Mr. Bomb Detector shows 7:02 p.m. Can you identify if they have ample time to deactivate the bomb? 1900 hours means 7 p.m. Trio has only two minutes to fight a trio boss and deactivate the bomb. Trio fights a trio boss bravely. He takes a big leap of faith and jumps on a trio boss's head. The forceful jump makes him drop the bomb. The timer on the bomb shows 1900 hours. Will he be able to deactivate the bomb? Trio cuts the wire and the timer stops. Hurrah! The bomb is deactivated. He saved the town once again. Ah, Trio, I will not leave you. A Trio boss runs away. It was not an easy day for them, yet they overcame it through patience and courage. 12 hour and 24 hour clocks might seem confusing, but they actually are so related. Do you agree? We learned that The 12-hour clock uses digits from 1 to 12 to indicate time. In a 12-hour clock, morning to noon period is indicated using numbers 1 to 12, followed by a.m. and the afternoon to night time is indicated using numbers 1 to 12, followed by p.m. A 24-hour clock uses numbers from 1 to 24 to indicate time. It does not use a.m. or p.m. In a 24-hour clock, the morning to afternoon period is indicated using numbers from 1 to 12, whereas the afternoon to night period is indicated using numbers from 13 to 24. Let's discuss what was Uncle Bat's plan. How do we read a 12-hour clock? Give an example. How do we read a 24-hour clock? Give an example. How are 12 hour and 24 hour clocks related? Download the Uncle Math mobile app to your Apple or Android mobile device. Stay tuned to enjoy viewing more such math stories, songs and games. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel.